question number 10 uh, we have to simplify this one according to part a when i look at i can see i can write this as a difference of two squares this is equal x over x square minus one square uh, minus x plus one and x over this is x minus one and x plus one and minus x plus one now i want to make denominator same uh, the missing one is x plus one a over 3 times 4 minus b over 3 the missing value is 4 here so we will multiply by 4 denominator and numerator so the missing one is here x minus 1 so i will multiply uh, by x minus 1 denominator and numerator now x minus 1 x plus 1 this is x minus x minus 1 so this is x minus x plus 1 equal 1 over x minus 1 x plus 1. Part B, we need to find the range. Now, instead of uh, looking at this expression, we can work with this one now. To range mean we want to find the minimum and maximum um, of fx and the domain is given in general uh, we'll try to draw this graph first I can see that when uh, x goes to 1 fx value is become uh, 1 over 0 because 1 times 0 times this is become 0 denominator becomes 0 and um, as a result uh, fx goes to infinity so x equal minus 1 also fx e uh, equal 1 over 0 it means uh, fx goes to infinity hence uh, x equal 1 and minus 1 are asymptotics so this is x y uh, x equal 1 x equal minus 1 so those are asymptotics now uh, fx equal 1 x minus 1 x plus 1 so x goes to minus infinity so we can go to x minus infinity from here to here and here to here so we don't know which infinity So this is x equal minus 1. I will select a, a number from here. This number I will take minus 1.000009 very small number. It just uh, left to the x equal minus 1 and when I put this one. So minus 1.123456 and 9 minus 1 times this is uh, minus 1.0056 and 9 plus 1 then this is negative value and this is going to be minus 1 to plus 1 uh, uh, cancel out and basically the negative value is going to remain here uh, with okay i will write this is negative 2.000123456 and negative uh, 0.0009 so negative times negative positive so answer is positive 
and this value is going to be very small number very small number so when we divide by small number it's infinity definitely because we know it's going to be infinity but it is positive it means if you select x value here it is the function is somewhere here it means from this side we can definitely it should be from here if you are not sure you can put one minus 0 0.009 a value just after this x minus 1 and you can check and if it is here so it's going to be like this I know it, it's from here and how about this side by having this knowledge so I thought I know that y equal 1 over x square so then y over 1 over x square graph is something like this so on that basis I'm going to do something like this and if it is start here I'm going to start from here the other side so if you are not sure still you can put uh, another one 1.0009 something and work out so instead of this one I'll put one uh, this point is 1 plus delta uh, small value so then uh, 1 over this x value is 1 plus delta and this is 1 plus delta plus 1 so 1 over this is uh, 1 plus delta times this is uh, 2 plus delta right so this is this is positive and this is positive positive over positive since this is uh, delta and this answer um, approximately delta value another small value so this is going to be positive infinity so you can look at that way as well instead of putting numbers now we can look at uh, where this graph is uh, crossing uh, the y-axis so when uh, x equals 0 in this line x equals 0 so f0 or you can write okay fx this is uh, 0 minus 1 0 plus 1 which is 1 over minus 1 is minus 1 it means the graph uh, crosses here so this is 0 minus 1 so we marginally uh, sketch the graph somehow the domain is given x greater than 1 so we have to consider the graph x greater than 1 it means we don't need these discussions we know this graph we know this graph has three asymptotics one is x equal 1 other one is x equal minus 1 and the other one is x minus 1 x plus 1 equal 1 over fx I cross multiply and then uh, uh, fx 1 over y we know y also 0 when y goes to 0 here x minus 1 x plus 1 goes to infinity it means this graph goes to here so it will touch uh, the negative x axis or y equals 0 line that's why I put y equals 0 here 1 over 0 is and goes to infinity and uh, so the range is what is the minimum value of fx so fx has to be greater than 0 not equal to 0 it will equal at infinity and usually we write fx greater than 0 what is the maximum value infinity so basically 0 fx and infinity 
or you can write 0 greater than fx or this one in other way fx greater than 0 so this is the range if you want a different approach we know x greater than 1 so this function uh, we want to look at what will happen after 1 not equal 1 so we can think about uh, when x equal 1 plus delta so definitely we know that if uh, 1 plus delta 1 over 1 plus delta minus 1 1 plus delta plus 1 and this is 1 over delta times 2 plus delta which is 1 over uh, very small value I'll put delta 1 another one so this is almost uh, delta 1 assume 0 0.00000 something like that so 1 over this value what when you divide what will happen the answer is going to be all the zeros very bigger number number is getting smaller mean so the graph just after uh, no, you don't know what is going on, right? So you just look at this one and just after small place, delta away from this one, the graph is start somewhere here. Then uh, what will happen when x goes to infinity? fx equal 1 over x minus 1, x plus 1. I will take x from here. Then 1 over 1 minus x. Uh, and I will take x from here. Then 1 over 1 plus x. Which is 1 over x times x, x square. 1 minus 1 x. 1 plus 1 x. Then limit x goes to infinity fx limit x goes to infinity what will happen uh, x square 1 minus 1x plus 1 plus 1x so I'm going to take the limit so when I apply the limit so this is 1 this is become uh, infinity square 1 minus 1 over infinity 1 plus 1 over infinity so this is going to be infinity squares infinity and this is 1 1 over infinity is 0 and 1 over infinity is 0 and so this is 1 minus 0 1 plus 0 so this is 1 over infinity 1 over infinity times 1 times 1 which is 0 so when x goes to infinity uh, x goes to infinity fx goes to 0 x goes to infinity fx goes to 0 so this is the minimum one and this is the maximum one so 1 over uh, delta Yeah, 1 over delta 1 in this one. So, this is almost infinity. We discussed with the different divide by small number. So, this is infinity. If I revise again this part, I said delta can be a small number. So, 0 0.00000000 000 000 000 000 000 000 something like that. So this is a very big number. So as well as, so assume this is uh, nearly similar to 0. Then 1 over 0 mean infinity. This number is nearly similar to 0 because uh, 0, 0 point, point, then billions times or more than that. Infinite times 0 times 1. So when divide by very small number 
it is going through infinity limit if it is zero then it is infinity so the range is uh, max max of fx is infinity and many of fx is uh, uh, zero so towards zero and then zero greater than fx greater than infinity or zero greater than ever both same so we can't take this is equal because uh, fx equals zero which is y equals zero is asymptotic i showed earlier this one part c we want to discuss uh, g fx is 70 and gx is given 2 over x real number x greater than 0 and um, first of all we will find uh, gfx what is gfx so first of all write what is gx gx is uh, 2 over x g star is 2 over star uh, g f x is 2 over f x so 2 over f x mean 1 over x minus 1 plus x plus 1 so this is going to be 2 times x minus 1 x plus 1 a a divided by b over c is a c over b a divided by b divided by c divided by d uh, a d over b c why this is a divided by b c a multiplied by c b that is a c over b same as you can so this one g f x uh, equals 70 now g f x mean we know that uh, 2 times x minus 1 x plus 1 equals 70 so this is 2 x square minus 1 equals 70 2 x square minus 2 equals 70 uh, 2x square equal 72, x square equal 36, x equal plus or minus 6. So, x square equal 36, we want to get the square root, so x equal plus or minus 6. Now, uh, the domain for fx is x is a real number x greater than 0 domain for g x is, uh, x is uh, sorry greater than 1 and domain for this is greater than 0 so the number line f x goes uh, from 1 onwards uh, g x goes from uh, 0 onwards so then so those are the graph and uh, so 6 is uh, match with the ball range uh, question number A f x equal 4 times x minus 2 so we want to find uh, f7 4 times 7 minus 2 that is 4 7 minus 2 5 that 20 
And um, so then G3, Gx is x cube 1, G3 is 3 is cube plus 1, 27 plus 1, which is 28, and then uh, H minus 2. H, x is uh, 3 to the power x, h minus 2 is 3 to the power minus 2, 1 over 3 square, 1 over 9. Part B, we need to find the range of fx. fx this one. So fx equal 4x minus 8, 4 times x, 4x minus 8, this is a line. So, positive gradient, negative y-intercept, something like this. The domain is given x greater than 0, so we don't need to worry about left side. And this value is 0 minus 8. And maximum of y goes to infinity. So, minimum fx is minus 8. Max fx is infinity. So the range is minus 8 greater equal, it can get equal as well and less than infinity or you can write anyway. And uh, gx or range is the range gx. X is a real number. We know that uh, Y equal X cube graph. Something like this. Then Y equal X cube plus 1. So this is a translation by vertical translation. Something like this. X and Y. So this is 0, 0. And now this is become 0, 1. Somehow range. What is the minimum y value and maximum? Here minimum y value is uh, negative infinity. When x goes to negative, y also goes to negative. So this will go here and uh, this will go there. So negative infinity gx to positive infinity. Or simply you can say, so uh, this is number line minus infinity to positive infinity. We tell simply x is a element of real numbers. So, so the range gx. Uh, is element of real numbers. Or you can write minus infinity to positive infinity. Part C, we need to find G inverse X. So, G X equal X cube plus 1. X cube plus 1 equal G X. A equal B, then B equal A. So, X cube equal... Uh, g x minus 1 then x equal one third of g x minus 1 then uh, so what my plan was to make x as a subject that's what we usually do then x goes to uh, g x g inverse x x and y is become x. So g inverse x here equal one third g x equal x minus one. So this is the inverse function and uh, x is element of r, x is element of r.
So if dx uh, if part A we want to solve this one gh a before a it was x and we put x equal a so now we want to find gh x first uh, so g h g x equal x cube plus one g h x equal h x cube plus one h x is uh, three to the power x to the power plus one. 3 to the power 3x plus 1, 3 times 3. Yeah. So this is ghx. So when x equal a, ghA equal 3 times 3a plus 1. So ghA equal 244. And now we know this is... 3 to the power 3a plus 1 is 244, 243, so this is 3 to the power 3a equal 3 to the power 5. So then only possibility is to make equal, uh, since this is 3 and 3, so 3a equal uh, 5 so a equal 5 by 3 and uh, from here well, there is a theory uh, x to the power a and x to the power b then we can write uh, a equal b because uh, base is same and to make both expression equal to each other, the, then the only possibility is it can happen when A equal B. Another one is uh, A to the power X and B to the power X. So the both powers is same then to then only the expression can be equal if a equal b for example a equal 3 and uh, this is 3 equal uh, 4 equal 3 so 3 to 3, the only possibility is those two should be equal. The A has to be equal to 4. A should be equal to 4. 